What's up guys, it's me Lego Paradise here and today I'm going to show you how to build these working Lego weighing scales. To use them, simply grab an object that you want to weigh and place it on the surface of the scales and you'll see the golden dial at the back moves around and tells you how much that object weighs. So let's try this with something a bit heavier than a drink. Maybe something like a gold bar. And as soon as we place the heavier gold bar on the scales, the dial moves even further up and you can see it's over twice the weight of the drink. Finally, let's weigh something really heavy like this giant turkey. When this touches the scales, they move around all the way to the heaviest weight. And once again, that resets back to zero as soon as the scales are cleared. This is a really awesome design and it's super compact considering all the functionality built into these working LEGO weighing scales, which is very reliable and is great for weighing any of your LEGO pieces. It's a great addition to any of your LEGO shops. Really, you can weigh anything from food for supermarkets, gold bars for banks, and even letters and parcels for your LEGO post offices. So it's a really versatile build and it's fun playing around with it and seeing how much different Lego pieces actually weigh. So let's take a look at how to build it. Here are all of the pieces you'll need to build your working Lego scales. I have used a few rare pieces in this build such as the printed dial and the golden hammer as well as a few other rare parts. So I'll leave links in the description to the sets which contain those rarer pieces in case you don't already have them. So once you've collected all of your parts, we can start by building the middle of the scales. So this will be the moving platform that the whole scales balance on. So just attach this upside down 1x2 plate with the Technic hole brick and slide a 1x3 Technic pin with no friction through the middle. Then we're going to want to balance this out with the correct weight. So attach a 1x1 plate on this side. It's important these are plates because of the exact weight that you need for the scales to function properly and one by one in the middle then also attach one of these one by one round studs with the hole in the middle so these need to be with the hole in the middle so we can attach one of these one by two bar pieces with the ball joint piece on the end so that just slides all the way through and that can be a little bit tough so just slide that through and there you go that goes as far as possible and that will be used for inverting this connection so place your second one by one round stud on the top of that and attach your serving tray and i'll also leave a link in the description to where you can find this piece because this will be the main platform for the scales to balance your items on and we can put that down for the time being because next we're going to build up some of the sides so this will use a 1x4 plate with a 1x2 tile and then a two 1x3 plates stacked on top of each other. This will be the left side, slightly different design to the right. Then this time a non-inverted 1x2 plate with the Technic hole on the side and a 1x1 cheese slope piece. Then you can also build this up with a regular 1x1 brick. And then moving on along to the right side, this will also start with a 1x4 plate and a 1x3 plate. Although this time we're going to use a 1x2 plate over in this gap, just like this, and a 1x4 plate over on the top there. Fill in the gap on this side with a 1x1 plate and place your second modified Technic 1x2 plate over on the end there with another cheese wedge, one by one slope over on the back of that piece. And this can also be built up with a one by three brick and a one by two brick over on the top. So these are the two sides for our weighing scales. But before we join them together, let's build the top bit. So this will use a one by three arch brick with two one by one bricks on the side, just the regular ones and a one by one tile over in the middle of that and basically we're going to build the top of the scales which will be a 1x3 plate and a 1x1 plate in the middle and build up a nice smooth curve so that will be made with a 1x1 tile in the middle 
with two one by one slopes on either side. And this is where we're going to attach that printed panel a little bit later on. So that part is also done for now. And now let's build the last side of this working Lego weighing scales, which we use two Technic bricks. So one will go like this and the other will go horizontally on the side and just clip that in to the hole of the other Technic brick. So make sure that's all nice and straight. And attach a one by four plate over on the left with two of these relatively new two by two plates with the tile on half of the plate. So this will just make it nice and compact. Although of course, if you don't have these pieces in particular, you can extend it out and it will just be a little bit bigger, but it should still work the same way. So we're almost done. All that's left to do is to join all of our pieces together. And to do that, we can start by taking our side pieces and this moving platform in the middle. So that just simply clips onto this bit over on the right and the other side over on the left. And make sure that platform can move nice and freely. And if that just gets knocked off, don't worry, that is quite a secure connection once it's all in place. So that's all good. And we can stop these sides moving up and down by joining them together with this top bit, which goes over the middle. So you can start to see how this is all coming together. At this point, you're going to want to make sure that this will move nice and freely. So if not, then just move the bricks slightly apart from each other. So there you go, it's a lot smoother now and that won't get stuck anywhere. And before we join the back piece, this way you can take your one by one Technic gear and just hold it in place and then secure that over on the back with this second one by two bar piece and slide that in so that's nice and loose. And then we can clip this part to the back just over on the corner there. Make sure that's nice and loose as well as the bit at the bottom. And this is where the actual one by four gear rack piece will go. So that will just slide down the bottom and that provides the movement. So you can see basically as the platform is pushed, you can see that gear inside moves around and that is joined to the scales, which is represented by this really cool three by three printed piece and the dial, which is represented by this hammer. So the reason we have to use this hammer is because it's got a slightly smaller gap in the middle of the hammer. And you'll see that allows us to stick the hammer through the middle of this dial. And that will be nice and loose. See, if it was just a little bit bigger, say, for example, if we moved it this way, the hammer wouldn't be so loose and it just wouldn't work as the scales. But this way it's a nice and loose connection so you can get that nice, fast and responsive movement. So before we attach everything together, just make sure that this can go up and down very smoothly. So here it's getting stuck a little bit on the sides. So if this happens, just move this slightly back towards this way, just a fraction. And might need to play around for that just to get the best result, just so nothing gets stuck there. And you can always adjust this later on, but basically what we're aiming for here is a nice, smooth, uninterrupted movement. So there you go, this is exactly what we want, where you can push the platform down and it will fall back into place nice and smoothly. So all that's left to do is to attach the dial that moves around. So that will hook up to that gear. So basically that will go halfway through the gear. And this piece will be attached in between the space between the tile and the bricks on the side. So that's a bit complicated to see because it's all enclosed, but hopefully you understand what I mean. And just basically push that down. And if this bit on the front is still wobbly, just push that down further inside until it's clipped neatly with no gap in between of those bricks. Then we can adjust that so the numbers are in the middle like that. And we can also change it so that the dial faces the number one at the default position. 
and that way when we push on it it will move away from the starting position all the way to the highest number at the end and that looks like it's working perfectly and if you want to use this with your lego pieces since most lego parts don't weigh that much you can make them a bit heavier to enhance the effect by just adding some little bits of metal inside of the lego parts so for example inside this drink I've just placed a small bolt and inside of this gold ingot a little plate of metal and like I said even though this isn't totally lego this way it does enhance the effect because obviously you can find some naturally heavy lego parts but this just makes this effect look a whole lot better and you don't have to modify any lego parts you can always remove the bits of metal as long as you don't jam them in there too tightly so I hope you enjoyed building your working lego weighing scales and if you did then don't forget to give this video a like let me know what you think of this design in the comments and subscribe to my youtube channel you can also join me on patreon for even more lego videos and exclusive content and as always I'd like to give a shout out and a big thank you to all of my supporters on Patreon. I've also got a whole playlist full of working minifigure scale Lego machines and creations just like these working weighing scales. So that's definitely worth checking out if you'd like to learn how to build some more of these cool functional Lego creations. I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.